Nashville General Hospital has renovated its emergency room. Larry McCormick slash The Tennessean A nurse checks on a patient at Nashville General Hospital in Nashville on December 12, 2017, photo, Andrew Nels slash The Tennessean, by photo. Basic bookkeeping remains a problem at Nashville General Hospital, auditors determined in the latest financial review of the cash-strapped hospital that serves the city's low-income, uninsured residents. The audit, released Wednesday, found hospital management failed to consistently monitor transactions or review activity of large accounts, including patient payments and lease payments. The findings come at a time when Mayor Megan Barry and Mahari Medical College leadership are moving to halt inpatient care at the hospital, a proposition opposed by some in the community. More, draft Nashville general audit findings mixed amid a push to close inpatient services. The audit period covers the 2017 financial year, which ended in June. Since then, auditors say they have seen some basic accounting improvements. However, the lack of oversight identified in the audit led to material misstatements in financial figures for important hospital accounts. The list highlighted 10 areas, including accounts payable, accrued expenses and inventories. Without continued improvements in the processes and controls around the hospital's financial statements, management will be unable to provide accurate and appropriate financial statements for the hospital on a timely basis, the audit states. More, ministers call for mayor, council to save inpatient care at Nashville General Hospital. More, Mayor Barry slammed over handling of Nashville General Hospital plans. Auditors unearthed similar problems at the hospital last year. In January, Nashville General Chief Financial Officer Jeff Blomely said the accounting issues were partially caused by a new process he started, asking managers to generate monthly reports. That action, Blomely said, took focus away from regular annual accounting practices. We really have to get back to the basics, Blomely told the board at the time. Blomely left the hospital in the middle of the auditor's work this year, which complicated the process, the auditors told the board. He was replaced with Bruce Nairmore, who joined from East Jefferson General Hospital in Louisiana. Turnover made collecting information difficult, said David Hunt, an audit principal, who noted a CFO was there one day and gone the next. The hospital is tackling what board chair drive. January Brandis called grave issues with its revenue cycle. Nashville General has long struggled to collect payments for care from insurers and patients. Auditors told the board they'd seen improvement, not only in data included in the audit, but also in internal communications during the current fiscal year. The audit looks at history, said Del Crosslin, founder of the auditing firm, and any progress the hospital has made won't be reflected until a year from now, in the next audit. Auditors pointed out a significant decrease in current obligations, a drop from $58 million to $43 million over the course of the year. Patient revenue also decreased year over year.